able to download uh, Infinite Forge's mod, not mod, but a uh, thing, which is called a uh, Dismantle. Uh, he's been working on this for a while. Thank God he finally put up, uh, you know, an updated version of his file. Um, I think I remember hearing his controller support, but let's see. Let's see how this is. I got I heard, heard gunshots going. I got to hit him. Okay. So I think there is controller support. I think. Ooh, my computer cannot handle this. This is like Unreal Engine 4. I don't think my computer can handle this. I, unless it's blur. There's jumping. Ah. Oh, good old Halo music. Oh yeah, my computer cannot handle this. Yeah, and I also see anyone on Unreal Engine. Uh, my PC would not handle this if it's having a struggle. That's for the setting scenario. It's like a really going slow. Turn up the music. So, sorry, it's gonna be shitty on my end because, you know, my computer cannot handle, I guess, the. this, I guess. There was flashlight. It's not. So yeah, I think of a good type of previewing for me due to how you know s slow my thing is. You know, it's not apparently handling Unreal Engine 4. I guess I don't know. Yeah, it has to be all the setting here. It's in this. But, hmm. I don't know, 3 for 3 should probably hire the Infinite Forge to make these uh, pillars look more better. Up. Because, like, you know, pillars I was expecting to see in Infinite would have been, like, Halo Wars 1 style, I would say. Maybe with 2. Mostly 1. You know, where it would be the blue outline. Ooh, there we go. The computer's starting to handle when I hit it at a certain spot. Oh, there's a barrier right there. Okay. Can't explore that one. Unlimited ammo. But yeah, you can see where my computer is struggling. It can't handle that. You must need, I got really high end built. Um, if it affords, if you're watching my, uh, my reviewing type of previewing your, uh, thing, um, can you at least make a version that can handle with, um, a little lower specs? Alright, like, I love covering some of these, these type of things, you know. As Halo Infinite kind of runs decently well on my PC, you know, see, for most of it, I have to try a multiplayer as it is, because I already got done all my, all my campaign streams for uh, Legendary, for Infinite. But I'll tell you what, MCC, it can run smooth as a butter. Oh, let's go up this way. I remember some other content creators like uh, Hidden Xperia, uh, a couple others. I know Hidden Xperia definitely, definitely made up a preview video of this. But you can see how it is on my PC where it's like, it's just not handling. No, it didn't crash, so that's good. Like, I'm pretty sure y'all don't mind if it was like, uh, you know, having this issue. Uh, look at all this. There's a sprint. Huh. Vehicle. But yeah, I'm hoping, you know, once I put it up, you know, Infinite Forge, like I said, please, please make sure you make the next one that I know you're working on another one. You know, at least make sure it handles um, the thing, like for lower, lower end type PCs. Like mine, like mine's a decent gaming PC. But not, I guess, seeing it's not really good enough to handle this. Halo 3's music. Steel. I love how, well, you, how, how much time you put on this, but, you know, just in case, can you make like a version 2 where it's like, you know, the exact same, 
but like met for like a, like a downgrade a little bit. So like it can handle well. It's like smooth. Yeah, I just don't like struggling. Like you can see how like my PC is kind of handling it. It's like ah, uh, struggling. Sounds like, uh, I don't think it's Halo Reaches. Sentinels. Oh, it's not maybe that. Huh. Ah. Oh, unless there is a barrier right there. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a barrier. I killed my moment. I wanted to look up that way. Hey, at least now I get to actually look around this, but the terrible thing is my PC just can't handle it. Look how much detail and time he put into this. It's over this way. Is there a barrier here? I'm kind of concerned. Yeah, you can see where, where my PC is struggling. So I'm not getting any game if it's using Unreal Engine 4. Now I don't know if Arkham Asylum, a Batman series, is going to be like that. Hopefully not. And that's where it just came from. So now if you're going to ask me to put like Unreal Engine, I, my PC probably can handle maybe a certain Unreal Engine, but yeah, I don't know what Unreal Engine uh, Infinite Forge used. I think he used Unreal Engine 4. I could be wrong. He might have used Unreal Engine 5. Spider. Finished the flight scenario. Oh, well, the banshees came in fast and hot. Now, like, somewhere right here, my PC just started handling it a bit. So all of a sudden, now I'm going right back in. It's like, uh, we're going to struggle. Well, this is kind of cool. The oh, bad thing is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of it. After I'm already uploading the file as it is to my Google Drive, you know. So, in case you all on PCs need it and can't find it, get in, need it, need it, you know. Oops. Well then, loading rocks. <gasps> Shit. Well, where am I to respond? That's the question, though. Uh-oh, it broke. It broke. Don't do what I did. I fell right in the hole, the water, that water, without barrier, wasn't, and I fell on my depth, and uh, yeah, I crashed the game. So, well, you know, his preview. Let's see if that's more smoother. Nope, still the same. Take a little bit. Bam. Halo 2 Anniversary Phantom.
like the fact he is able to anniversary phantom I'm guessing Banshee. Fire at the phantom. Which won't do anything. But let's take a look at the other path I didn't go on. It's a little fast way to get back and then go to the other path. It's available. Good old Halo theme. I think it's like the Halo 3 thing. I don't recall being Halo 2's. So we went up that way. And we went up up there. So we gotta go this way. But yeah, like I said though, before I fell down. Um, but I will be uninstalling this after because it took a good chunk. Good chunk of my space. Let's see if can I go this way. Yes. I cannot, never mind. So I gotta go up that way regardless. Oh well, we get to enjoy it one more time. So my PC being shitty on uh, specs because it's not a high end build. You know, where it can handle like the higher up engines. You know. Which I think he used either Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5. So, I don't want to hear no saying like, oh, we should put on Unreal Engine. Nope. Maybe some specs, yes, as an Unreal Engine, but game wise, no. Like, I don't mind if you put Unreal Engine for, like, you know, if you're looking at your multiplayer character in customization. Not, not, not no gameplay scenario, because my PC is struggling. As it is, so. I'll have to see how it handles it when it gets to uh, Batman Arkham or, uh, not Arkham Origin, Arkham uh, Knight. It handles well, damn. I think a lot of music are inspiration from Halo 3. Yeah, that's how much detail, though, in Infinite should have been for, uh, in the campaign, but like I said, I like to have the the blue light scenario because Halo Wars one had them. Same with a little bit with Halo two, Halo Wars two, where the pillars had like detail on them, like a lighting detail as well, which is pretty cool. I just wish Halo had had that. Now as I said, gave us some more detail, and also I do agree with like you know how detailed this is, which I know some of the multiplayer. The, the one multiplayer map has it. The multiplayer. Um, I forgot what the BTB map name is, but it's pretty good. It has the, uh, you know, Forerunner Vaults thing for, uh, you know, to get that power weapons. If you had to hack the door. Let's see where it's all flickering. This took, uh, as far as I remember, it's been a forge a long time to make this. So, and if you all are saying that you want to make Halo better than 343 and saying you could get it done all one day or whatever, it wouldn't take it in one day. It would take you a good while. I don't know how long it took, uh, whatchamacallit, Infinite Forge to make it. There's one. There's two. I said it would end it actually over there. But, oh well. Oh yeah, he always gun being holded. There's where we fell. Can I go up this way? Kind of curious.
Nope, the barrier. Barrier. See, that's the only downside is, you know, if you gotta make it explorable, make sure there's no barriers. Yeah, with barriers, it's not gonna be as cool. Like, sure, it's gonna be cool to look around, but it's not gonna be fun to explore. But yeah, there you go.